Hey guys, Kevin here with eTrailer, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Dometic 310 Part Timer RV Toilet here in our 2007 Four Winds Chateau Class C motorhome. So your toilet's going to be real easy to use. The only thing you have to do to flush is just simply press down on your lever. As you can see, the little gasket in there and the uh, trap here opens and closes as we open our lever. Uh, one thing people ask about a lot is how is this going to feel compared to my toilet at home so i'm going to give you some measurements here so from our seat to our ground we're looking at about 18 inches in height so that's going to be real close to your standard toilet at home that way it doesn't hurt your knees as much you don't feel like you're in uh, some little kindergartner toilet uh, when you're out camping so it's just going to give you a much more enjoyable experience so this installation process, fairly simple. You're really just removing two bolts and taking your old toilet off and then putting the new one on. Uh, all in all, it should take you maybe 30 minutes. You'll probably spend more time just trying to get the correct hose to fit to your fitting from here to whatever you have in the wall. If you have a hard uh, PEX pipe or something like that where you're gonna have to do a little bit of maneuvering. Uh, other than that, super easy. So as you can see, our neighbor's toilet is no longer functioning. The little foot pad that controls the water has completely broken off inside. So we're gonna to need to replace the toilet. To find the right fit, what we're gonna to need to do is measure from the center of our drain hole to the nearest part of the wall and make sure that we have enough space for our new toilet. The 310 that we're gonna be putting in requires 10 inches of space and we're looking at like 11 and a half, 12 inches of space just from even this edge right here. So we'd have plenty if we went from the center of our hole to the back of our toilet. So let's go ahead and start removing our old Thetford toilet. So you wanna make sure that your water is already turned off and that you've kind of drained it a bit. As you can see, uh, our motorhome has already been winterized so there's no water in the line so I don't have to worry about anything coming out while I'm Moving the old water line. So we'll take off our little flange bolt cap, take some channel locks, and just take our bolt off. So now that we have both of our nuts off of our flange bolts, we can go ahead and undo our plumbing for our water line. All right, once that's free, we can just pick our toilet up. The back of this still has water in the line, so just kind of hold it up so that you don't take a chance at it falling out. But I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside so we can drop in our new toilet. So the flange bolts for our old Thetford are a little bit thicker than our new ones, as you can see. So our new hardware is not going to match with it, so I'm gonna take those out. They simply just slide out of our flange. We'll stick our new ones in. And then we can drop our toilet down onto our flange bolts. It's a little bit hard to do. All right, with our toilet in place, we're gonna go ahead and take our supplied washer. That's gonna help spread out the weight when we start tightening it down with our nut. Go ahead and just hand thread these on. Do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have our toilet hand tightened down, we're gonna go come back with our channel locks. And I'm gonna go back and forth between the two bolts because I don't wanna take a chance at having our toilet uneven because then we're not gonna get a good seal with our gasket. And when you're tightening these, you wanna make sure that it's nice and tight, but not too tight to our you end up breaking either the flange bolt or the flange itself because then you'll have to replace both of them. So now that we have it nice and tight, as you can see, can't move it at all. We don't have any wiggle. Uh, we can go ahead and place our caps on. So our big rounded caps are just gonna slide right over our, our bolt on both sides. And then we're also gonna have two caps that go up on the seat. So up here on the seat, it's gonna have these plastic bolts 
that you can stick your Phillips head screwdriver in to tighten the seat down, or if later on you had to replace the seat, say something broke on it, you could just undo that. On the bottom, it's gonna have a little uh, connector here, kind of like our nut, but it just has a little lip on it that you can kind of grip onto and then use your Phillips head screwdriver up top. Because uh, those are plastic, you do want to be careful. You can easily strip the threads on that. But we're going to stick our covers in, and then now we can hook up our water line. So our pipe that was originally here was just a little bit too short to make it to our connection on our toilet here. So I had to actually go up to the hardware store and get us a new hose to just kind of run over. I also got one that has a shutoff. That way, if for any reason they ever had to replace the toilet, they can shut the water off right here. They don't have to worry about any water leaking out while they're trying to work on the toilet at all. Uh, one thing else I want to mention is that the connection type right here is your standard faucet type of size. You don't want to go and get a toilet sized connection because that's going to be just a little bit bigger. So now that we have our water hooked up, uh, as you can see, we already did a little test, make sure we had some water coming through, but we can go ahead and show you right now. You can see we're filling up our bowl. And we can easily flush our toilet with our working pedal now. Well, I think that about does it for our installation here of the Dometic 310 part-timer RV standard toilet here in our 2007 four-wind Chateau Class C motorhome. My name's Kevin. Thanks for watching.